James Kaufman, World News Report Today. August 4th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we had two M flares simultaneously pop off last night, or at least consecutively. We had first an M2.06, immediately followed by an M1.43. Both came from a new Delta class sunspot. That is correct. Sunspot group AR4168 has morphed into a Delta class sunspot overnight, bringing us a far better chance of a much stronger flare as it is actually also directly Earth facing. Let's take a look at those M class solar flares. They are consecutive from the same sunspot. First, we got hit by the M2.06 directly afterwards. Before we even got into C territory, we got hit by another M1.43 solar flare. It was a 1 2 punch directly Earth facing. Jumping over to spaceweatherlive.com. You can see that first M-class solar flare generated by Sunspot Group AR4168 hit at 4.52. It peaked at 4.57 and was done by 5.05. This is UTC time. So this actually happened last night before midnight while we were still online. So that first solar flare, the M2.06, was 13 minutes in length. You can see it ended at 5.05. Well, the next one from the same sunspot group started at 5.05, the M1.43, and finished at 5.21. So combined, these were just under 30 minutes long, 29 minutes in total. Now, because we have a Delta class sunspot group on our hands, AR4168, the chances of us having an X class solar flare have doubled to 10%, an M class flare to 40%. That ship has officially sailed now, and we are maintaining a, well, I was going to say a C baseline, but we just actually, as I was going to say that, Hit a B 9.69, as y'all might have seen that change. All right, taking a look at HMI intensogram, we see that Delta class sunspot poking out at us. It's the one in red, but of course, AR4168, almost central disk. It will be central disk by tomorrow. Earth is definitely in play for any action that it brings to the table. Now, we're still waiting on NASA to see if a CME was lifted from yesterday's M-class solar flare. And I assume that one would have been lifted today. As soon as we have any confirmation, we will get back to you. Currently, we have six sunspots Earth-facing. 4169 was named, as I indicated it would be this morning, although 4154 is almost around the far limb. So we're going to be stuck with five Earth-facing sunspots, or five sunspot groups, on the Earth-facing side of the solar disk. In summary, the sun is back in play. We've had two M-class solar flares overnight and we now have a delta class sunspot group to deal with that will be directly earth facing by tomorrow again i will keep you updated as more information is available but would expect at least one of the three m flares to have lifted a coronal mass ejection off the sun and for that to be inbound towards earth Please share, please subscribe if you haven't, and always remember, anything's possible. 
bizarro world.